Hey yo! Again, today on the channel, the regular edition, Razor Ramon Ultimate Edition. The spirit of the warrior will run Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we've got the Ultimate Edition regular version, Razor Ramon. But for all your Razor Ramon needs, WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Gotta get a deal, folks. And today, we're doing the regular version of Razor Ramon. As we already unboxed the chase, now we're doing the regular. Unfortunately, the Midwest weather, the big snowstorms, delayed a lot of packages for me. So I ended up getting the chase one first, and then the regulars kind of followed behind a couple days later. So we're here. They made it. And we're going to dive into this Razor Ramon. And we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And of course, like I said, this is the regular edition as the purple one, very much like the defining moments was the chase version. So check out that video as we dive deep into that one. But this one is the old razor. Look at that. Very, very iconic. I don't know. It's, it'd be interesting. I guess if you ask 10 people, you might get, uh, you know, four or five different answers is when you think of razor Ramon, what outfit do you think of? Do you think this yellow? Do you think the purple, maybe the green, maybe the blue, maybe the Hawaiian shirts, uh, I guess choose your own Razor Remote Adventure, but a very iconic looking Razor we have not got in Mattel form so far. And one really cool, neat thing about these Ultimate Razor Remotes, they almost throw us back to the Hasbro days. This kind of feels like the Hasbro, and then of course the purple one felt like the other Hasbro. So I thought that was really cool uh, to do that in the Mattel Ultimate line here. But a lot of the same stuff, of course, that we got with the Chase version, you get with the regular version. We got a big window box, we'll dive into all those accessories there, but looking really, really good. On the side, there's a little razor. Look at that smile. That's a smile you can set your watch to right there. WWE logo up top. Razor Ramon on the side. And then, of course, you got the back. We got the glamour shot in action figure form. We got the glamour shot from the ring. Always do love that. You got the tail of the tape. You got the blurb. Playing all the hits right here for us here today on the channel. Let's see what this is about our old friend Razor Ramon. Six foot seven from Miami, Florida. Oh, absolutely beautiful this time of year. I went on two, yes, count them two, Motorhead cruises back in the day. Oh, sailed the seven seas with Motorhead, Slayer, Testament, Anthrax, Black Label Society, uh, Kill Devil Hill, the list goes on and on. Uh, but we did go out of Miami every single one of those times, so I got to spend a couple of days in Miami in my lifetime. There you go. Finisher, the old Razor's Edge, career highlights, the Intercontinental Champion, of course. Uh, say hello to the bad guy from disrespectfully flicking his toothpick in his opponent's face to putting him away with the razor's edge. Razor Ramon oozes machismo and everything he does with everything he does. And that's so true. He just oozes machismo from every single orifice of his body. I think that is the case right there. Uh, somebody can fact check that. But there's oozing machismo right there. And it does say, say hello to the bad guy. Always cool to get those little Easter eggs on the packaging on these. And I always do love the packaging on the Ultimates. I love, for the most part, for the most part, they are uniform. Of course, Coliseum Collection. Some people have said all Coliseum Collection is an Ultimate. It's an Ultimate-style figure, but it's a different line than the Ultimates, of course. And then uh, we have all the different Elite lines as well. But I do like the uniformity here. Outside of that cane, getting a little crazy with that cane. See you later. Uh, very, very good package uniformity throughout. But there's old Razor in the old plastic prison. We're going to cut him out with the hardest working scissors in the land right here. He is locked in at the feet. And I think, if I remember correctly, that is it. He's not locked into the hands for whatever reason. But we do got a lot of hands with Razor. Really opens up a ton of personality on the figure. Always do love that. Of course, when I take a chase, uh, just like in the Elite line, you got to try to make him as different as possible. You give him a different head. You give him a different uh, set of hands. Maybe one has the belt on. One has the vest on. See you later. Uh-oh, I forgot a hand there. Hold on. There's one hand. I forgot they had a twist tie hand. Driving me absolutely nuts. Hold on. Let me get that. We'll be right back. And we're back. I never understood why they twist tie one hand in there. It drives me absolutely crazy. Now we're going to do this for real. See you later. Get out of here. Let's break this down. Let's dive into the old Razor Ramon here. Let's start with his accessories.
accessories. First, we're going to throw a curveball here. We're going to go Intercontinental Title Belt. Of course, we just talked about this with the Chase Razor. Always good to get this iconic version of the Intercontinental Belt. A lot of the all-time greats, Hall of Famers, of course, my childhood, I think, of this Intercontinental Belt. Absolutely do love this one. Happy to get this anytime in a toy line. And now we get two of them with Razor, so you can't beat that if you get the Chase and the regular edition. Now we dive in here onto the hands. He's got all the hands. He's got the two thumbs up hands, the old bad guy hands, the old Hacksaw Jim Duggan thumbs up hands. So we got both of those. Gotta have two fists for Razor. He can do that. You know that fire up the old Tommy Rich if he needs to. He can do that. Of course, you have two gripping hands that come stock out of the package. Probably not going to use those. Not a ton of personality in the gripping hands, especially with Razor. With the uh, Razor Scott Hall walk right here, hands, the thumbs up, hands, the fist. I think that's how you got to mix them up. And I'll probably put uh, different ones, of course, from the Chase Edition, like I said earlier. Now we dive in on Razor Ramon, and we talk about this head sculpt here. Let's look at these heads. And the first one, still don't like it. It has not grown on me over the week, as, of course, I had the Chase Edition kind of sat with some of these head sculpts for a while still really not feeling this head sculpt now like i said in that review you theoretically could move this over to a different razor ramon figure in your collection uh, you could easily do that if you do prefer this one over maybe that raw one for example but not my favorite one right there the second one we got kind of the side mouth going on this is a much better one the other two heads are uh, a lot better than the stock one and i will be using these two heads on my razor instead of this one that is my plan here but I really do like the personality in this one of course the five o'clock shadow going on a little deeper than a five o'clock shadow it looks like here but it does look nice uh, i don't have any issues with the hair there's no missing spots anything like that uh, but this this one just looks so dead in the eyes where this one has so much more personality and this one has a lot of personality as well with kind of the smiling face the sly face uh, looking really, really good there. So no issues with these two. The stock one's the, the weakest of the bunch for sure uh, in my book. But you guys tell me what head are you using for your razor? Uh, let me know. I'd be interested to hear that. Of course, breaking down this figure a little bit, we got all that chest hair going on on Razor Ramon. It would have been perfect time for Mattel to give us real fur chest hair. They could have went back to the Jack's playbook. You guys know I've been saying we need to do that at least one time. I don't know if Razor's the guy to do it with. I think George Steele would be the one to do it with if they did decide to do that. But it'd be a nice homage to Jax. Maybe they could do it in the Ruthless Aggression Walmart line one of these days. Who knows? But we do have the chest hair painted on to Razor Ramon. Of course, the ultimate torso going there. He also, of course, has uh, the chains. That's another accessory here. You can leave them on, take them off. Of course, you pop the head off. They will come with it. Uh, but always like to get the chains with Razor. Of course, you got the vest. It's the same vest we've seen many a times with Razor Ramon figures over the years, except it's painted yellow and black this time. Always did think the yellow popped on Razor. Always liked the look of Razor. I'm trying to think when I close my eyes, what do I think of of Razor Ramon? Let me check. Let me see. Let me see what I can do. What can I conjure up inside my head? For whatever reason, when I close my eyes and I just did it and I said, okay, Razor Ramon, what popped in first? It always goes back to Hawaiian t-shirt Razor. Maybe that's because of the original vignettes. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, obviously, a very iconic look for Razor Ramon. We got an action figure for him. We're going to show it here in a second. But I wouldn't think most people think that way. I'm just probably different. But you guys shout it out in the comments if you think of Razor in his Hawaiian shirt as his, your first images of Razor when you think of it. Uh, but I do love the vest, like I did say. Of course, he's got the two elbow pads, one plain elbow pad, one elbow pad with the Razor. Razors, I should say, on the elbow pad. Same thing with the knee elbow pads. The knee elbow pads? How about just the knee pads? We'll just call them the knee pads. But I'm not a big fan, like I said before, a little bit too big. They're just too big of knee pads, but they do got the nice Razor emblems on them looking good. Black boots with the white laces really do pop. And then, of course, you got the Razor tights with Razors on his butt. And then, literally, Razor spelled out on the front there looking really nice. Uh, but can't beat that. And then articulation, arms do go all the way around, of course. You do got the old butterfly action. It is an Ultimate Edition. You do get the bicep cut, double-jointed, pinless elbows, playing the hits right here at the table. Hand back and forth, side to side. Hand, of course, going to be removable. Same thing with head. Head's going to be removable as well, back and forth, side to side. You get that hula hoop torso at the top, and then you get the traditional waist. Get those big old Razor Ramon splits. If you need to jump over a, a sandwich deli in Miami, you need to jump over some chairs or something, you can do that with this Razor Ramon. And then you do get the big old drop-down hips. I know some people love the drop-down hips because all the extra articulation of boots and stuff. It's just not something I really, really enjoy. I would prefer better ankle articulation. I'm a broken record. I've said that numerous times. But it is Mattel. They're constant learning, constant improvement. They're improving articulation. So you got to give them some credit there on the drop-down hips. Uh, you do got the thigh cut, of course. Double-jointed, 
Pinless knees? Nope, there is pins. There is pins, but it is double jointed at least. You got the boot cut, ankles a little bit back and forth, side to side. Like I said, the weakest point of the articulation, if you ask me, for Mattel. Then you get that awesome toe articulation, like a young Todd McFarlane always wanted, looking really, really nice there. But boy, I do like this razor. I'm not sure if I prefer it over the chase. We'll have to see here in a second, but does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on the stands. Make sure you get the uh, Mattel stands, as I always do say. But, of course, he fits like a glove right there. Let's grab the old Chase Razor. Very similar, but very, very different, of course. we got different heads going on. Uh, definitely looking good. Wait a minute here. I'm getting my uh, razors confused. I grabbed the defining moments. We'll save him to the side. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, but here is the Chase version. Like I said, very similar, but very different. I don't know. I think I like this one. Maybe it's the shiny new toy effect, but maybe it's because we've already had the purple before and we've been missing this one. So it's And it is a very iconic Razor Ramon. Uh, they had him in a video game in this back in the day. Of course, the old Hasbro. So I'm going to go regular edition is my preferred one. Ask me six months from now, that might change. But very cool to get two ultimate razors. Uh, looking really good. As you guys know, I've said it before, though, I'm not a huge fan of Chases in the Ultimate Edition line, but it is what it is. Like we always say, Mattel, they want every dollar and every coin out of your pocket. They want that, and if they see there's a spot to make some money, guess what? They're going to take it, and I guess we'd do the same if we ran our business. But a little razor comparison there. I already got the Defining Moments out there, so you can see the Defining Moment. But let's uh, keep firing up the old Razor Ramones here. How about the Razor Ramon I was talking about, the Walmart-exclusive flashback back in the day? This is what I think. I think the Hawaiian shirt, I think I'm on the streets of Miami or Cuba or wherever it was supposed to be at the time. Uh, that's what I think of, I guess, when I close my eyes. I, I did it just in this very video just a few seconds ago. So uh, that's what I think of with old Razor. Definitely could use an upgrade here. But you could mix some of this stuff over to Razor if you really wanted to. Of course, we do get the Legends Razor from the old Target line a year ago, two years ago. What is time, as we always say here on the channel. And then the Raw 30th Anniversary. I could see people taking the, the weak link head on this one and maybe putting it on this one. That's something you might uh, look at doing there. I think that is a worthwhile custom fix up there. But we got that razor. And then we dive into some Scott Halls because why not? We got Legend Scott Halls right here. We got Scott, Scott Hall Overload, Razor Ramon Overload. We got, I believe, was this the Ringside Collectible Exclusive back in the day right there? And then we do got the uh, WrestleMania Scott Hall from a couple of years ago. So we got all the razors, all the Scott Halls. I think I got all of them in my collection i know i got some more basics some things like that but quite the representation here of scott hall razor ramon and a guy that definitely is deserved of an ultimate edition figure some would say where has it been it should have been here by now would really love to see a kevin nash ultimate one of these days uh we've have of course diesel ultimate i think we'll get kevin nash i don't know we'll get a scott hall ultimate i don't know if that's quite as needed but I think uh, Kevin Nash has a couple different looks that I would love to see in figure form. But we'll see. But Razor is a good start. And I can't say start because we're already up to, what, 16 uh, different Ultimate lines at this point. But a lot of Razor Ramones, but very cool for you Razor fans to get two at the same time. I know if this was the Ultimate Warrior, I'd be really excited about it. So very cool to get Razor here in a regular and chase edition. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? What are you looking for? Both of them? One or the other? You guys let me know in the comments down below. And like I said, I think I'm going the Razor regular version is my favorite of the two like i said that could change down the line but that's where i'm going but let me know your thoughts on this old razor ramon ultimate edition and of course you made it this far you might as well like the video subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and we got even more content for you on the patreon truly your best way to support the channel and all the content is the patreon you get early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, Q&As, you name it, it's going on over there. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson, and then don't forget to hit me up and follow along over on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Razor Ramon, the Ultimate Editions, and all of his elite friends, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.